Hey everyone, it's Miss Ashley, and today I have a fun STEM engineering challenge for you all. So we are going to be making spider webs. So in order to do this activity, there's some materials that you'll need to have. So you'll need a marker, you'll need some rocks so that you can draw some rock spiders with your marker. For an added challenge, you'll want some dried beans. You'll need some dental floss. This is gonna be your silk for your spider web. You'll need some tape. And then I'm gonna use a paper bowl, but if you don't have a paper bowl, you can also use a hanger will work just fine as well. All right, so spiders will make a lot of different kinds of webs. So some will make sheet webs, some will make orb webs, some will make triangle or funnel webs, some will make tangle webs, and then you have some spiders like Pinky or Tarantula here who doesn't make any kind of web. They just wait in a burrow and then ambush their prey. But all spiders do produce silk, and silk is really impressive. It's actually pound per pound. It's stronger than steel, so it's really cool. And then spiders use this silk to create these elaborate webs to, so that they can catch their prey. And so they are quite the little engineers the way that they create um, their webs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to mimic a spider and we're gonna try to make the best web that we can that can hold as many spider rocks or as many spider beans as it can. So we're gonna see um, how strong of a web we can make. So to get started, I am going to tape my floss to the bottom of my bowl and then I'm going to try not to use tape anymore because spiders don't get to use tape so we're going to try to be like spiders and then I'm just going to wrap this around as best I can I think I'm going to make an orb web but you can feel free to make whatever kind of web you want or maybe your own creation and I'm just going to keep in mind that I want to try to fit as many rocks and beans on it as I can mm -hmm. tape the uh, floss back to the bottom as well just to hold it in place. And there's my web. So now that I have my web made, I am going to need to make a couple rock spiders. So this is where your rocks and your marker are going to come in handy. All right, so I'm going to draw some more rock spiders. So the first part of the spider that I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw the cephalothorax. So this is the head and the thorax combined together. So spiders have two body parts. They have the cephalothorax and then they have the abdomen. And this is what makes them different than insects. So spiders are arachnids, they're not insects. Insects have three body parts, whereas spiders just have the two. So there's my cephalothorax and my abdomen. And now I'm gonna do legs. So how many legs do our spiders have? They have eight, four on each side. That's also how they are different than insects. Insects only have six, spiders have eight. And then I'm gonna give them some little spinnerets right here, which that's the organ that is gonna produce the silk. There's one spider, and I'm just gonna go ahead and make the rest. All right, so there we have my four spiders, and I'm gonna bring in my web now and so now I'm gonna see how many spiders and maybe beans I can add to my web so I'm gonna start with just the one spider in the middle but now I think I'm gonna switch to beans so if you're comfortable with your rock spiders go for it I'm gonna go for the little extra challenge of my beans <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I'm gonna stop there. I got one big rock spider and six little bean spiders. Now I'm curious to see how well you guys do with this STEM challenge. So how many rock spiders can you get on your web? Or how many bean spiders can you get on your web? Or what kind of combination can you do of the two? Um, if the web doesn't work for you the first time, go ahead and try it again. It doesn't always work the first time for spiders either. Sometimes they will actually eat their silk and then start over and um, reconstruct their web or they'll add to their web. So thank you so much for watching this video. Post any pictures below of your webs. I'd love to see them. And I hope that you guys have fun with this STEM challenge.